Susie says, what if he gets silent and just stops texting or calling? Well, I'm assuming that you're not talking about the situation that we have been talking about here. But if a guy gets silent and stops texting or calling, the first thing that you want to do is give him some space, right? You want to give him at least a week of space, if not more, right? And just see what he does. And the second th first thing that you want to do, actually, before you give him a week of space, is you want to figure out whether you're in a committed relationship or not. If you're not in a committed relationship, which a lot of the women that are coming to me are not in committed relationships, but they're still completely attached to some guy, then you want to be dating other men. You want to create abundance, right? If you're in a world of scarcity and there's just one dude and it's all about him and he doesn't text you, he doesn't call you, he goes silent on you, then it, it, it'll devastate you, right? Because he's your world. He's the only option you have. He's all there is. That's a world of scarcity. A world of abundance is a world where there's lots of men. There's plenty of men out there and if he does something weird or whatever, it's no big deal because you have a lot of other options going on. You're connected to other men. You're connected to other people. You're getting your significance and your certainty and your connection from other sources. And so it's not as big of a deal. And so the first thing that you want to do is have an abundance. The second thing that you want to do is give him some space because who knows what's going on with him. And you know, the question is, where did it leave off? Did it leave off with you asking him a question and he's ignoring you? Or are you leaving it off where you guys had a lull in the conversation and he just hasn't reached out after that? If it's just a lull in the conversation and he hasn't reached out, look at the dynamics of what you guys have been doing, right? So if he's been moving forward and pursuing you and chasing you and investing in you and taking you out on dates and doing all that kind of stuff. It's not a big deal to reach out to him. It is a big deal to reach out to him if he's he hasn't been taking you out on dates. He hasn't been pursuing things. He hasn't been initiating contact. He hasn't been doing all those things, right? He hasn't been investing. If he hasn't been investing, then you just want to give him space for a while and then send a message to him at some point. If, he, you know, after a week or two, he doesn't reach out to you, you can send him a message to find out what's going on. But if he has been doing those things, it's okay to reach out, right? It's not a big deal to reach out as long as you're not initiating more than 50% of the time. And there's a reason for that. That's not an arbitrary number. If you are reaching out more than 50% of the time, you're not going to know when there are red flags going on with him. And so you can reach out, you know, once every three messages, you can reach out once every other message, you can reach out once every four messages. It's okay because it's just a norm, right? Relationships are built together. It's, it shouldn't be a one sided thing. It shouldn't be all him. It shouldn't be all you. It should be building things together. And so if you're just waiting on him because you've learned from some coach out there that told you that you should never, you know, message a guy first or whatever, which there are coaches out there that are sadly teaching that then what you want to do is figure out where you are in the dynamics. Is he moving towards you? If, if a guy is moving towards you and he's investing in you and he's you know, uh, in his masculine energy with you and he's you know, doing all the right things, you can do a lot of stuff. If he's not doing all the right things, then you need to do a little, things a little bit differently. But you didn't really tell us what's going on with you, Susie. So that is where I will leave it.